Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Haven't done one of these in a while, so it's time to torture some body armor. Today we have RMA Armaments Model 1199 Lightweight Level 4 Plate. I apologize in advance about the sound quality in this video. All the shooting bench audio is corrupt and no matter how I messed with it and how many times I uploaded it, it wouldn't work, so I'm doing a voiceover. This plate weighs a hair just under 5 pounds, 10 by 12 inches. It was designed for a contract that specified light weight as a key factor. The strike face on this plate is not a true 10 by 12, but more like an 8 by 10, kind of like the swimmer's cuts plate. There's a foam ridge around the outside of the plate that you can kind of see here. Hopefully I can match the audio up. As I mentioned, it was for a contract bid that they won, and they offer the 1199 plate for general public consumption. If the reduced ceramic strike face is not your thing, then don't buy it. Our test distance today is at 45 feet, Pro Chrono Digital, with a clay briefcase. We use the clay so we get a good representation of back face. It's a little on the cold side, so it may underrepresent, but we should see more based on how light this plate is. We're going to shoot some M855A1, some M193, M80A1, M80A1 and 300 Win Mag, as well as M2AP in our 300 Win Mag. As a reminder, these threats are always outside of the NIJ protocol for level 4 threat specification. The NIJ only calls for a plate to stop one M2AP round at 2880 feet per second at 45 feet. This is a tile array plate similar to their 1189 plate. Let's get into this test. Up first is some common, maybe not so common, M855A1 and some CBC M193 from the 20 inch barrel. I also went ahead and performed an NIJ 06 drop test on this plate. This is not an NIJ certified 06 plate, but as good testing standard on all level 4s that I test in the future, they will be drop tested. No velocity was recorded on either shot, but generally 3,000 feet per second from this M855A1 and 3,200 from this M193 clone. Here was our M855A1, a little close to the edge there. Here was the M193. I need to currently recite my 20 inch in. Looks like they're using a different ceramic. This is the like gray color ceramic instead of the white stuff that we're normally used to seeing. A little bit of back face right there. Maybe, maybe if you're lucky, 10 millimeters off the A1 there. Nothing, I mean the plate's dimpled there, but nothing in the clay. Let's uh see how M80A1 does against this. Next up is some legit M80A1 that I got from Huey on FAL files from a 22 inch M1A. Velocity was 2982 feet per second. Here was our shot from the M80A1. You can see these tiles are starting to come out of there. This is definitely the different type of ceramic. It even smells different when, when you shoot it and you come up and smell it. It's kind of hard to explain, but it doesn't smell like normal ceramic does when you shoot it. What do you guys think? Oh, no pass through. Here's our dimple. Good dimple there. The clay back face. About 26 millimeters. Again, my clay is kind of like the NIJ clay. But I can't keep it at 98 degrees at all times, so when it gets colder, it gets firmer. So this just kind of gives you a good representation of what you might expect. 
and I use it there as a compressible media and something to easily hold the body armor when I shoot it. Let's see how this plate handles M80A1 at a faster velocity. Okay, getting up to some big boys. Here's M80A1 in 300 Winchester Magnum. This should be over 3,400 feet per second. Some of the other level 4s that I've tested in the past have stopped this. This is definitely way outside of the NIJ test protocols. <laughs> Velocity was 34.18 feet per second. Here was our shot right here, guys. What do you think? I don't want to show you. Do I want to show you? No, maybe. Oh. Uh oh. That's a pass through. There's a hole there. It tried to stop it. I mean, there's a good sized bump there. It's trying to slow it down. Apparently, it's too much for this plate. Again, this is a lightweight plate designed to be mobile. It wasn't designed to be the strongest in the world. So it doesn't surprise me too much that we penetrated with this. Again, outside of the spec. Let's try some M2AP at just a little over the NIJ rating. All right, finally, our 300 Winchester Magnum with M2 AP pull bullets, 71 grains of IMR 4350, so we should be right around 3,000 feet per second, which is above the NIJ spec. Two good spots left on the bottom of the plate, and then we'll check out the results. Pew! 29.56 feet per second. Let me go reset the plate. Plate has been reset. Pew! Velocity was 29.82 feet per second. Shot number one, shot number two. You can tell there's a decent amount of energy behind each one of those when I knock this 40 pound thing of clay over. What do you guys think? Uh oh. Got two penetrations there. Looks like 2,900 feet per second, almost 3,000 with M2 AP. It's just a little too much for this plate. Again, this is to, meant to be an ultra lightweight plate, not meant for maximum protection. That's what their 1189 plate is for. Let me cut the cover off and see if there's any more spots that we could do another test on. I cut the cover off. This nice uh, rubber coating. This is, I think, the spall protectant or part of the assembly process. You can see the different shots here. That one was a little close. These ones though were well far away from it and I did have a firm spot on the strike face when I shot it. Pretty much most of the tile array in here is now gone. The upper spot here where I didn't shoot is still there. I'm not even going to attempt to take a second shot on this. 
Needless to say, we're testing is done today. I decided to finish this review back up at home so I could kind of lay everything out so you guys could take a look at how this plate was constructed. Here are the remaining tiles that I didn't destroy. Similar to their 1189 plate. This one uses obviously a different ceramic. This is a silicon carbide or SIC ceramic. These tiles are only about 307 thousandths thick compared to say the On Guard one that we tested against that 300 wind mag at 3,200 feet per second, these are 417 thousandths thick. As I mentioned in the beginning of the review, this plate was designed to meet a government contract that required the plate to be as light as possible and yet still provide level four protection by NIJ standards, which is to stop one M2 armor piercing round. The NIJ lab tests that they have certainly prove that. They've also tested M995AP, which is the 52 grain tungsten core 5x6 round at a 100 meter equivalent velocity that this plate will stop as well. I think I was a little overzealous with the round order that I picked to test these in. These other previous rounds that we shot at this plate probably compromised to the point to where I'm not even sure if there was any ceramic left down here when I shot it. You can see maybe this one was on the edge of one of the tiles and so was this one. It's really hard to say. Like I said, I always go above and beyond on my tests, especially when it comes to armor because the NIJ shows you at a minimum what it can do and I always try to see what it can take. It stopped M855A1 and M80A1, so that's good. As always, I'd like to thank RMA Defense for providing us with body armor to torture for you guys of you. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range.